When you need mealtime inspiration, it's worth shopping Kroger, where you'll find over 30,000 mouth-watering choices that excite your inner foodie. And no matter what tasty choice you make, you'll enjoy our everyday low prices, plus extra ways to save, like digital coupons worth over $600 each week. You can also save up to $1 off per gallon at the pump with fuel points. More savings and more inspiring flavors make shopping Kroger worth it every time. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Fuel restrictions apply. Ladies and gentlemen, let's let's talk. I think I think so. I think let me say my sense. Welcome to the King CJ Music Podcast. We talk music, culture, and all of those things. This is an interesting song, and I and I mean this because there are two aspects of the song in which I do have to listen to. So it is rumored that his next album will be called. The death of Slim Shady, which is interesting. I think it's it is interesting. It, it's rumored that it's the death of Slim Shady, um, and apparently it's coming out like in seven days, seven eight, uh, seven nine days. It's coming out. So the death of Slim Shady, death of Slim Shady, is a song in which I am very much interested in because. Because it's it's looking like a 20 song track. It's looking like a 20 song pack. And so, as we look at the list of the death of Slim Shady. Guapa de Gras. Guapa de Grace. Uh, we are, like, this is, this is big. And so let me explain this. For some background information, if you don't know who the death of Slim Shady is, let me, let me, let, let me tell you. Originally... Eminem, an American artist, was part of a group called the Original D12, and the the, the notation of the original the, versus the previous D12 is because Eminem tried to make D12 happen twice. Um, earlier in his career, later in his career, after Proof died and Bugs died, uh, R.I.P. to Proof, R.I.P. to Bugs. Um, so the death of Slim Shady, which I it, it's crazy to watch things come back in full circle. It really is, right? The death of Slim Shady, because his art, they were a group full of artists that were basically their alter egos. Like, they, it was six rappers and six alter egos, and the death of Slim Shady is, who it's been a ride. It's simply, it's simply put, it's been a ride. Anyway, he's a Detroit rapper. He's a rapper that Proof got into the rap scene, into the battle rap scene. Uh, but, yeah, it was six different personalities. Eminem's alter ego was Slim Shady. And Eminem refers to this because in a tweet he says that his la- and his last his last act is the death of Slim Shady. So it's or Kubo de Grants. Uh Kubo de Grace. Um it's It's interesting to me. Because I like I like the callback, I do. Um and I and I, I've said this before. His verse is probably going to be his his his, his verse on the song is probably going to set the tone for the album since it's a week away, um, a week or something, a week, two weeks away, a week, a week away, another week, yeah, it'll be a week away. And another and another important person, and let's let's talk about it is Big Sean. Big Sean is on this song. However, let me be very clear when I say this. This is interesting because if you are Big Sean, you are Big Sean, you just in the Drake feud. Uh, people are trying to figure out who to replace for Cole. You're in that place with future Big Sean for the top three of this generation. Your next verse has to be better than him with J. Cole with Tim's. and has to be better than what Drake has um, done and tried to make a... Uh, another version of like a famous song. So your verse has to be airtight, solid. If they want to put you up there as the t- as in the other three, now the picture is the other three using a big pit in the first person shooter thing. So that's what I'm saying. This this brought a lot of things out. This had a lot of moving pieces. Um, and so if I'm Big Sean, this is something I could not mess up. And it says especially, especially. If the death of, if definitely if I put an album called The Death of Slim Shady, right? It has to be lyrical. I can't pull any punches. It has to be lyrical, right? And Baby 
baby Tron is somebody. Let me be fully. Let me fully clear. Trent, uh, baby Troy. I've heard from like baby, from Jesus started birth something like that. It was a song in twenty nineteen. Um, but I have hopes for him as an upcoming artist. So when I saw his name on Eminem titled Toby, I had questions just like others. So when we open up to Toby's verse, we get you know. Told her where I was bit by a spider. But see me, it was a goat, right? Because he's a goat. I'm a goat, or I'm a future goat, you know? Because he's a goat as a Spider-Man, which is interesting. If you want space, take the helmet off, which was, I thought was very interesting, like, the 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 visual of that, right? He says, my city's Leia, and I'm Obi-Wan, which I got a mission to pass, which I think is an interesting start. It's, it's interesting to bring people that aren't necessarily, like, fans of Eminem into, like, a space where Star, Star Wars is the theme, because you'll bring a lot of people in here. You know, I'm legally, legally blind, you know, that these references are great. However, when we get to, like, a verse that shocks me, it's, it's Big Sean's verse. Um... Because I don't want a chip on my shoulder. If he's Obi-Wan, I'm Yoda, right? Like, it's the, hey, we're playing with the three-generational chess here. If he's new to Obi-Wan, I'm Yoda. It's it's interesting because, like, <laughs> it's interesting to me because it, I think you look at the mentors that Big Sean has had, like Kanye West, Jay-Z, Lil Wayne, and he might be considered Yoda when it comes to how gently he's played with albums these years. You know, it's... His wordplay, his his movements have been, and to some extent, I get it. You know, it's it's crazy, and he he kind of flirts with this line of, "Hey, you know, if you want to bring the female in here, I can." She want to touch me and rub me and go back to the hubby, and she he probably he she probably smell like me, smell like my cologne. It's it's interesting because I love this, right? It's interesting to me. I can paint a picture with my stencil. <laughs> I made my stencil. If you're like, if you love a drawer, you know your stencil. Like the, you draw with on like the, the the tablets to like draw stuff out. It's it, it's clever, but it's like it's interesting to me, right? But he also says, you know, I'm like I'm I'm with Cole Bennett. Oh, I love this. Cole Bennett is finally getting the respect he deserves at the music he makes, right? I'm from Detroit, but the, where they BMF, which is the saying of. The, the movie that 50 Cent did, but it's also, like, it's, it's, it's there, right? Like, it's, that's where it's centered in Detroit. They move in keys, like, full chord progressions. If Kendrick can do, uh, a uh, uh, music theory, it's only a big shot, and I love it, because I love chord progressions. I love it. With the da, 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 da. Oh, we go from A minor, B minor to G. Oh, F sharp. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I love, I love key progressions. Oh, I'm all dressed. Oh, I'm all being present. I have no reflection, which I think to myself is one. Like these lines from McShawn are moving. I may live off. He did. Big Sean made living off. If if there's anything about Big Sean, he's made music. He's made music for so long. He's made he's made money. He made a living off of rapping, which is ironic. He says, "I need no corrections." That. Hmm. That could be concerning because I think Blessings is ten years old, and I need no corrections. I mean that that's true to a certain point, right? It's it's interesting to watch. Now, when we get at bars, I want to point out this is the line that I want to pick out, and so I love how he did it. But like, if I'm overthinking it, I'm overthinking it, right? Because he goes, now my state's in the building. I've done slept on all those floors, right? Like the Empire State of Mind. Empire State Building. <laughs> anyway, Empire State Building. Empire State Building, New York. Right? And it's also state of mind. You get it? Like, it's uh, it's a, it's a callback to Jay-Z, right? And so that line of him saying, <laughs> I got so many stories, I hate the ceiling. <laughs> no ceilings, little win. Look, callbacks, either I have so much music history that the callbacks, I hate ceilings. I got so many stories. 
but I hate the ceiling, which is like, I hate that, like, uh, the sky's, a, I just, I love that Wayne callback. And to me, if it's, to me, if it's only a Wayne callback, then it's fine. I ain't feeling your top five rappers. <laughs> they know they're about to piss me off, right? They know they're about to piss me off. Why? But the question is, why are they about to piss you off, right? But it's interesting to me. It's interesting to me because, but this is to be a mystery. How many, how many rappers have I already ripped? Could be, could be higher on the list than me. And this is interesting to me. And this could be because of Complex Think, where he was ranked number five. And it was like Jay-Z, Melly Melvin. <laughs> because it's... I ripped Melly Melv this year. I ripped Melly Melv... I ripped rip Melly Melv, one of the legends in hip-hop. But I also beat Jay-Z on Renegade on his album. So it's like... Ah. And then he... And then... This is where I like this, because it's like triple. It's like the, ah, uh, it's, oh. People put Wayne up there, and he's like, oh, but I beat Wayne on forever. And they're friends, so I like that. I like that, right? And I expect Wayne to respond, but it's, it, it's, ah, uh, Jay-Z, Wayne, and this. But I beat them all in a battle, so why are they above me? <laughs> but there's a mystery. Why are they rated above me? Um, which, what has a deeper conversation of, is it because he's white? And I think that, I uh, think that's part of the conversation because we were like, he, the only reason he's the top five artists is because he's us. I don't know if that's true. I think, and so, because if you say that, then you don't like Proof, but Proof is one of the best rappers of all times. While he isn't given credit for it, he's the best legend of all time. In the battle scene, but also in hip hop. Proof should be guarded as one of the greats, but people don't give Proof his credit. And so, my question is so. Like, ooh, are we saying that because he's white? Because you don't know Eminem's background with proof. And I think that's partially the issue. Is that he's, and, and Will Guns is not on my race that Eminem can't be because Eminem doesn't show like this. He doesn't have like African origins, which is crazy to me because like that discriminates half the artists here. J. Cole, Drake, Jay-Z. So that's what I'm saying. Like it, it, it bothers me on a natural level because you're saying basically you're Paid African, but like half of the artists aren't like direct descendants of Africa. Just because you call, because you don't have direct descendants to it, doesn't mean that you're this. Because a lot of people weren't, so it's like this is where that line feels. And I'm just like, it's not because of this. It's just because Eminem is who he is. He can rap, and the rappers that people say this, and I'm like, this is why Eminem, the Delph of Slim Shady, is so important to me. Right, because it's it's either a notion of proof, or RIP proof, right? But it's <sighs> Eminem. So I hope this is the thing. If you have records of proof, I would drop them on the Devil M Slim Shade. I really would. If there's any proof unrelated bars, I would drop it because that's what I'm waiting on. That's what I'm waiting on. I'm waiting on that penmanship of oh, he said I couldn't do this. Devil Slim Shady. Oh, this, this is interesting. This is just interesting to me, right? So it, it's it's interesting to me. It, I, it's oh, this is gonna be wonderful. <laughs> oh, that was pretty. Oh, this 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 will be interesting to me. It really will be, um, because like this song is interesting in itself. But putting it seventeen song on the Duff of Slim Shady, I need a proof intro. I need a proof intro. Right, like, and I don't know if he's gonna do it because I, I don't know who makes decisions over there. But that would be nice. That really would be nice. Um, what that means? How do you feel about that episode? Cause I I enjoy it, but it's not like a song where I'm like, this is a bigger conversation. 